we thank you for another time before you we thank you because unto you be the glory from the church both now and forevermore we thank you because blessings abound where you reign and those who are in captivity are set free thank you for this last Sunday of this first month of this year we give you all the glory in the name of Jesus I decree by the decree of heaven that all your children that are brought here this morning because no one comes to the mountain of fire miracles ministry by chance those who come come by divine appointment all your children that have appointed to be here this morning anything the enemy has stolen from them whether you know about it or you don't know about it whether it's unconscious theft unconscious theft as you shout 21 Jericho destroying the amen repossess your possession in the name of Jesus louder 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 Makatenda kaya bo shende rabo kopola bakasanda ribo sopola katenda kaya bo shende rabo kosota makande rabo sopila kaya bo bo kaya bo shente rabo kopola bo kopola kataya ba. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your two hands forward. As somebody wants to receive something and don't say anything stretch the hands forward like somebody wants to place something on your hands just stretch it forth like that and don't say anything you that you have been brought here by the Holy Ghost today or you are connected to us the document that has been stolen from you in the spirit realm you had a certificate but only the paper is in your hand the spirit of it has been stolen away repossessed repossess your children repossess your business repossess your home Repossess them. Repossess your health. Repossess them. Maparia catches her. Lick her ribbon. Repossess them. Can you shout this loud and clap before you sit down? Make sure your voice is the loudest and the most aggressive. Pass! That hates my progress. Be disappointed. Are you ready for that prayer? Open your mouth and pray it loud and name we pray a louder amen let's have a seat God bless you last week we began to look at a destiny topic a deep topic I'm so happy that many people pray the prayers that you are supposed to pray but we have by no means come to the end of the matter 
So you do well to listen to me again carefully this morning. Even if you are not used to listen to sermons. There is a reason the Lord kept emphasizing this. Emphasizing this. In Psalm 25. Psalm 25. Verse 14. Psalm 25 verse 14. The secret of the Lord. God has secrets. The secret of the Lord. Is with them that fear him. And he will show them his covenant. Life. It's a mystery. When we say mystery, a mystery is a coded information, an undisclosed information, an unrevealed information, a cryptic information. Matter. Deep secret. Something that goes beyond normal human understanding. A mystery is an undisclosed thing that is hidden. Life itself is a mystery. Life has problems. Life has secrets. There are hidden dimensions of yourself that you may not be aware about. There is a hidden part of your life that even at your Percentage you have not been able to unlock because every human life is involved in a deep mystery. As a matter of fact, there are secrets about your life that you need to know. There is a personal mystery you need to know so you can unlock your destiny. And in order to reach your maximum goal in life, you need to unlock this your personal mystery. The principle of scripture is very simple. Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, you shall find. Knock. The door shall be open. He said, Whosoever ask receives. But when you don't ask, you won't see anything. God reveals secrets to his people. Going through life without your personal mystery unlocking who you are limits your potential. It makes your life to be without impact. Going through life without knowing that deepest secret about yourself. That's, that's what makes servants to take hold of a person's horse and is riding it while the person is trekking. It is not knowing these secrets that makes you to choose a pattern that your life should not follow. You start passing examinations, nobody asks you to take the exam. It makes a man to fish and catch nothing in the ocean of life. It makes you a material for testing new weapons. The enemy will be used to test new, new equipment, new weapons. Then, most importantly, 
it could make you to die before your time it could make you to die before your time it could also make you a permanent slave when you see people who are slaves to prophets slaves to pastors slaves to rabbis slaves to witch doctors it may be there is a secret about their lives they don't know look at it now by design by design some people are not supposed to put one drop of alcohol in their mouth till they die some are not supposed to smoke till they die there are some women they are not supposed to be disbarging before they marry but because they don't know all these personal secrets about their lives they break the rule prayer now becomes very difficult for example the angel told the parents of Samson you are going to have a child but you yourself don't drink don't do this don't do that so they already gave them instructions those, those, are the, those are the mysteries we are talking about if those parents broke that law they will have wasted something if something is said that they say you should not be drinking started drinking then there will be a problem these are the mysteries we are talking about and this is why we still need to seriously pray the wisdom of God is hidden therefore you must ask God to grant you access to it so it look at Job chapter 29. Job 29. Verse 4. Job 29, 4. There are many who need to cry out in desperate prayer. Father, show me my personal mystery. Father, show my house to my house father show me to myself father show me the secrets of my life father show me beneficial secrets that will catapult my destiny Job 29.4 as I was in the days of my youth when the secret of God secret of God was in my tabernacle you need access that secret has to be in your tabernacle you need access into the mystery of the world access to the mystery of the kingdom access to the mystery of your life business as secrets marriage as secrets every profession as secrets there is an information you need from God when a man taps into that information his destiny explodes there is no reason for anyone to be poor if you can tap into that mystery you may be trading now but when you pray to note secrets the Lord may say daughter this is not your business of prosperity start selling granuts sell peanuts sell peanuts I'm already an estate agent no peanuts those are the kind of things I'm telling you now you see immediately you get that code from heaven (laughs) 
and you engage it you know you 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 surprise yourself what kind of breakthroughs you are going to have that's why i want you to raise up your right hand now i will say voice that roars like thunder oh god Then we pray. When you tap into information from heaven, your destiny explodes. It was like that woman who went to the to God and prayed some prayers like this. She was the vice principal of a school, but. Her poverty was so embarrassing. <laughs> Before the end of the month, <laughs> vice principal is uh, borrowing money from school teachers. <laughs> so she, she got to level and said, I'm tired of this. I am, I am tired of this. And prayed. And God said, Daughter, what is this at the back of your house? Say, Lord, marshy ground. Lord says, Daughter, resign. I'm begin to plant and sell vegetables. Vegetable. I, I, I bind that voice. God said, You can't bind me. You want to die in poverty? Plant vegetables. See, this can't be true. Have a master's degree. Vegetable? Well, she listened. And converted the back of that garden to vegetable farm. Beloved, when she started, it got to an embarrassing level that people come to the market and they wait for her to bring her own vegetables. There are other vegetable sellers. Say, no, no, no. I'm waiting for mommy Sunday. Mm, no, no, no. no. It's after she's finished selling. Others will not begin to sell. The day she didn't come to the market, other vegetable sellers were very happy. I'm praying for somebody here. The secret that will catapult your destiny. Receive that revelation in the name of Jesus. Receive it. 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 Let your heaven rule like thunder. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Let your heaven roll like thunder. Receive it in the name of Jesus. This information set the space for your distinction. What I'm sharing with you now, <laughs> many pastors may not tell you. If you are always struggling, your career, struggling, your business, struggling, your finance, struggling, your family, struggling, in your academics, then something, something has not been revealed to you. You don't know it yet. You're running all over the place trying to catch your husband sleeping with women around. Something that you don't know. Madam, there's something you don't know. You have run to control your husband. The man is just going like butterfly all over the place. There's a secret, madam, but you don't know. 
There's something you need to know. You need to get hold of that secret. That is it. God's hidden wisdom is the answer to every problem. Once you make contact with that heavenly wisdom, you become an extraordinary person. What am I saying? Success has secrets. Business has secrets. Marriage has secrets. The secret you need is with God. But not everybody. Only scanty amount of people has discovered those hidden beneficial secrets. This kind of information <laughs> is it something the devil doesn't want anybody to know. That's why the words of Jesus became re- becomes relevant now. See, this kind goeth not forth apart from fasting and prayer. There are certain information you can't get unless you fast and pray. See? As a demon that cannot shift until you apply fasting and prayer. There are some things that need one hour of continuous unbreakable prayer before they can even shift. Some two hours, three hours, seven hours, seven days before you can shift it. You can shift it. Ice cream prayer will not shift it. Microwave prayer will not shift it. You need solid, concentrated, acidic, constant, bombarding, rugged prayers. Move it away. If you look back at your family, and you that there is practically nobody you know in your family that is financially sufficient since you know all of them. And you find yourself towing the same line. <laughs> There's a secret you need to know. The family may actually have a hidden wealth that you don't know yet. There are some families in the book of heaven. The instruction that all the members of this family the only thing they can do to prosper is to be selling salt 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 that is the code but one of them is the doctor and that one is brickler and that one is this and all of them uniformly poor uniformly poor that, ex- that explains when a brother came to cry to me many years ago say, say daddy there are seven of us in the family six of us are born again one is a native doctor say that one that is a native doctor why is it that he's the one who has money when all these believers are broke that's okay. Is it's the man a full time native doctor? Which doctor? No. Say he also sells palm oil. He has demonically inquired to know the success business of the family. But the believers are supposed to have the secrets of God. Don't know. They are doing what they should not do. No wonder the Bible says the children of darkness they are wiser than the children of light. This is a serious matter. A lady prayed this prayer. 
afraid. I can't go on like this. Nothing is moving. Nothing is working. She prayed this prayer. Three days. No food, no water, no drink. She saw some white men. White men. Almost ten of them. They were dressing in black. She didn't understand. Who are these people? I'm a black lady. What are these white men? So she was so, so confused. She continued the prayer. She continued the prayer. She continued the prayer. Until one night again, when the prayer got to the correct level, an angel stood before her and he said, My daughter, well done. Do you see those white men with black attires? Your grandfather mistakenly caused trouble between these two white families. And that mistake that your grandfather made caused the white two white families to fight and kill themselves. This is why you have been like this. You need to pray atonement prayer to free yourself from this captivity. How will she have known this? If she was just praying normal prayers. Normal prayers. Then about time that, that boy prayed. Then the white things were not working. After a few days of prayer and fasting. They had a strange voice. Son, your father is your grandfather. My father is my grandfather. He now began to ask questions until they told him a deep family secret. Deep family secret. The, f- the father of his father slept with the wife of his son and they get back to him. And so his life was upside down. The family knew the secret but they kept quiet. But it was affecting his life. I'm praying for somebody here this morning. I said all the secrets you need to know to move you to the next level. As we shall say, ten Goliath destroying amen. Receive that secret in the name of Jesus. Let me move a little bit further. In Jeremiah, chapter 1. Jeremiah chapter 1. From verse 4. Then the word of the Lord came unto me. Say, before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou comest out of thy womb, before thou comest out of the womb, I sanctify thee. And I ordain thee a prophet unto the nations from the womb he has not come out yet not come out yet he had been sanctified anointed ordained the mother's womb as a prophet if after Jeremiah was born and he began to farm he will fail if 
he does not know how to pray to unlock his mystery he will crawl unknown to an unknown grave I don't know whether you understand what I'm telling you but you may be lucky one day and a man will say Mr. Man God said you are a prophet don't do this thing I did again it will work it will work so the secret of the life of Jeremiah is that he has been ordained by the Bible College of Heaven in the womb he has been ordained as a prophet in the womb strange but it is true in Luke chapter 1 verse 13 to 17 I'm reading you another example so you know how to pray when the time comes and you know how to continue the press tonight after quenching the rage Look 1 13 but the angel said unto him fear not Zechariah for thy prayer is hard and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son and thou shalt call his name John and thou shalt have joy and gladness and many shall rejoice at his birth now listen this is, this is the secret the beneficial secret the code the personal mystery of John the Baptist for he shall be great in the sight of the Lord and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink he shall be filled with the Holy Ghost even from his mother's womb and many of the children of Israel shall be turned to the Lord their God and he shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the ass of the fathers of the children and disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready a people prepared for the Lord that was the mystery of John the Baptist if after he was born or well, doing something else <laughs> with what they have said like against what they have said about him he will be a big failure that's why the scripture we read last week when they went to John the Baptist who are you who, 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 what says thou about thyself are you Elijah no are you that prophet no then who are you he knew I am the voice cry in the wilderness make straight the path of the Lord many are born great but they die unknown many are born warriors but they die as slaves many are born as millionaires but they die paupers many are born heads they die as tails many are born as world changers but they die in frustration many are born as runners but they die as crawlers many are born as eagles but they die as chicken many are born as champions but they die as losers God knew Jeremiah when he was in his mother's belly God sanctioned him and ordained him to be a prophet if by any abortion that baby was killed then it will not have been Jeremiah alone that was killed
Jeremiah's mother will not have known, but God knows. His mother might not have known that he was a potentially mighty prophet that was aborted. But he was in God's agenda. And God would have felt the loss. God would have felt the loss. I ordained somebody a prophet. And this man and this woman aborted the person. Heaven will feel the loss. And they will deal with that person. Not demons. Heaven. For wasting a heavenly resource. Do you see why some people have trouble? And deliverance grant is not able to help because the problem is not demon is that you are supposed to go to the east you are traveling the west so God knew you before you were formed and he has a plan for your life there is a secret you need to know I'm going to stop here for today continue next Sunday rise to your feet now and all eyes closed in case you are here this morning you are not born again you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus right there where you are please up your right hand and say what I am going to say after me say Father in the name of Jesus I come before you now Lord Jesus come into my life take control of my life in Jesus name Amen so that short prayer with me the counselors the ushers will be with you God bless you in Jesus name time to pray these three prayers I want you to pray we call them veil removing prayer because the enemy has put veil on the face of so many people so because he doesn't want you to know who you really are and even if you know who you are he doesn't want you to know your beneficial secrets please pray this prayer without any apology can you shout this loud and clear shout it at the top of your voice shout it the way you've never shouted any prayer shout it the way blind Bartimaeus shouted It's a money to let your voice rise to the heavens. Boka pola katende kete la boko shente la bosa. Maribo sopole ke ya boshende la boko senta. Yes. Then we pray. <laughs> you need to pray with concentration. Sisters, are you here? Sisters, shout the way I'm going to shout. Holy Ghost! Decode my life. Decode me so I will understand who I am. 
Sisters, can I hear you shouting it? Is that the ladder? Sisters can pray that prayer. Brothers, can I hear you shouting loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. name we pray oh God of turn around turn my life around in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray a louder amen Resurrection power, work miracles in my life today. Today, work miracles in my life. The resurrection power, work miracles in my life today. Today, work miracles. Sing it loud and clear. Resurrection power, work miracles in my life. you from Zion and make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you you shall go from strength to strength and from glory to glory no weapon form against your life shall prosper the almighty will arise for your sake and it's as you continue to pray these prayers these prayers of deep wisdom 
you shall have a turnaround breakthrough. As you go into another month, it shall be well with you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. No evil shall be for you. Neither shall any pestilence come into your camp. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Before we share the grace, I'd like you to open your mouth like fire, like thunder. Say, thou power of this pandemic. Release our nation in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and praise. Release our nation in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Surely, goodness and mercy follow. All the days of God, we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Seven miracles receiving, hallelujah, let's go.